What's your name, son? John O. David. John O. David. What's the O's initial? Yeah. What does the O stand for, Oscar? No. Otto? No. Oswald? No. What does the O stand for? Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Out. What's that? What's that? What's your name? George Washington. Oh, you picked out a good name. Are you the fellow that chopped down the cherry tree? <laughs> no, I ain't worked in a year and a half. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Are you boys all from the same family? Yes, yes. we're well, all brothers. You're all brothers. Well, who, uh, who's the oldest? Who's the oldest in the family? My father. Oh, dad is the oldest. <laughs> now, just a minute now. I got something to say to you. Yeah. Get it over with. The best thing for you to do is to get over to the cafe and stick around tonight so she won't think anything's queer. Now get going. What are you waiting for, music? Get going. Joint? Oh. Now you know why I invented the shemp booby trap. It's safer. Well, you gotta show me. Okay, I will if a rat will only show up. Oh. I'll never forget. Wait a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? What's what's the big idea? Did you ever hear the Pied Piper of Hamelin? He gave out with a jive for the rats and the mice. I guess if a piper can do it pie I ought to be able to do it sober. <laughs> Take charge of the company. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, Reveille will be at 5 a.m. instead of 6. This company will fall in at 6.30 for target practice. Company! Dismiss! Hey, Snavel. Sergeant Snavel, you. All right, Sergeant Snavel. Why do I have to go to this target practice? So we can teach you to shoot an army rifle. Teach me? I've been shooting for years. I could probably teach you guys a few things. Prentice, play period's over. You heard what the captain said. This is war. Uh, fall in, fall out. Target practice. I came to the army to fight, not to go to school. You see this? Yeah. Took me years of hard work to earn them, and I'm proud to live up to all they represent. Now, go get your gun to report back here. Oh, I think the whole setup's cockeyed. I'm in good condition. I can shoot a gun. Why do I have to train? Why don't you tell the captain your troubles? All right, I will. Where is he? Over there, and he'd love to see you. That's good enough for me. Hey! So, how did you sleep, Reginald? Superb. I'm glad you decided on a lower instead of a compartment. How annoying. Again, we're five minutes late reaching our destination. Boy, that breaks up. gasoline containing bicarbonate of soda. Hey, Mo, why don't we capture Hagen and collect the reward, then we can pay our bills? Oh, it's as simple as all that. 
Hagen is going to walk right in here and let you capture him. You're nuts. We're going to be paupers. Paupers. Are you kidding? We're not even married. Why oh. don't you be quiet? Oh, think. Read that back. Agola Gogol, Yatti Benefucha Timene Karanja Paradigman Hiha, June 22nd. Get out! Put me this thing on a typewriter! Friends and fun of parties and the ponies and of doting on their son, Mort. Well, Shemp was a wonderful father. Both Babe and Shemp were very, very proud of Mort, my husband. They did try to spoil him a lot, but he was very independent. He, he was a self-made man. Mort, like his father, left a deep and abiding impression on everyone he met during his tragically short life. An impression that again like his dad's, was singularly positive and happy. And I count myself among the people who were lucky enough to call him friend. And just as Shemp had been devoted to the little boy who called him Pa, he later lavished the same affection on the little girl who called him Grandpa. He was very kind to me. Um, we had a, you know, like I said, a very loving relationship. Every time I would cry, I was told that my grandfather would come over and make sure that there was, you know, I was okay. Yes, you can tell a lot about a man from the way he treats the people close to him. And sometimes you can tell even more from the way he treats the people he doesn't even know. Moore was Babe and Shemp's only child. He did not tell me who his parents were. So it was a big surprise on our first date, I went out to the car and there I saw Babe and Shemp. That was my first meeting with them. And all of these fans were running over to Shemp and asking for his autograph. And I was amazed at how nice he was to everybody. And I said, doesn't that bother you? And here you're out and you want to enjoy the evening and you have all these people coming up and asking for autographs. And he said, the minute they don't come up, and ask for autographs, then I'm going to be in big trouble. He says, I love the fans, and I love doing it. I love signing autographs. And I thought, he is really a very, very nice person. And as time went on, uh, and I got to know them better, I realized what a, a wonderful personality he, he truly was. He would take